five, or it's pretty much one way or the other between the two. But then every time they meet in grands, it just seems as though game one of each set, like if there's a reset, mm -hmm. game one each time, Kosuku just struggles with the match. He just isn't really feeling it. Mm -hmm. And then game two, he just immediately bounces back. Yeah. It's it's an interesting set to watch. Both these guys texting whoever they need to text on the phone. He's like, man, I want to fight Chica again. What did Hi, she Mom. do? <laughs> He's like, Mom, I'm on uh, Twitch right now. I'm in Grand Finals. Kosoko, of course, probably texting his former GGA buddies. But we'll be seeing the Sheik versus Cloud Classic that we've known to have here. Probably both starting on Smashville. At the, if I had to guess, of course. Uh, Chica's going to have to work the hard way. Winning, have to win two sets. Kosoku, not necessarily working the easy way, but he has to just win one set. Yep. And that could be the hardest set to win. Cool. All right, starting out here on Smashville, we're going to go into it. And both these, both these players just missing their openings, trying to start something. But Cheeks is going to strike first blood, and he's going to get uh, Kosoku into an edge guarding situation. Kosoku, Kosoku taking it back now, trying to get some percentage back. But he's just not able to uh, make the connections that he's looking to make. I feel like these guys are going blow for blow. I mean, like, as soon as one person gets 30%, the other person gets 30%. But, uh, yeah, both of these guys are playing a hardcore neutral, well, almost even a percentage, I mean, almost every time, like, one person gets to 46, hey, you're at 47 now. This happened in Game 5 in Winner's Finals as well, or it might have been Game 4, I don't know. Ooh. There was a point where it was at the 5-minute mark, and both these players were at 90%. What a ballsy up B on his shield, and my man Cheeks was not aware that he would do that. That was a ballsy up B. My man's got, like... My man's got bells hanging down there. I'm gonna be quite honest with you. I um, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, misses the the media on there. So far, I feel like um, neither have had a really a good list trapping uh in this game. Looks like uh, Cheeks is about to prove me, of course, wrong. Misses the backer because of the down tilt. Very smart option coverage. Um, very smart option from Kasoku. I apologize. Kasoku liking to go for a lot of these uh, down tilt setups once he gets cheeks up to like the 80 90 percent range and you know it, it's worked for him in a lot of their games against each other but i've also seen it just fail for him so so many times as well oh my goodness great i mean thus far i mean this is not looking too bad for uh either or oh misses the bear my man misses my man cheeks had, was playing the most he was the most evasive man off stage that was surprising because i would have got hit by every one of those moves <laughs> I would have gotten hit by all of those and the ones he didn't throw out yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Great stuff from Cheeks taking that stock to uh, potentially running away with this if he if he can. But if it's gonna be anything like a uh, winners finals, we will not be seeing that. We're gonna have to blow limit here just to get back to stage. Kasoku now playing a very solid neutral, um, not really going in unless it's completely safe, and he's doing a lot of uh, weave in, weave out that we like to see Cheeks do. Yeah, uh, that's very. That's a very uh, important part to notice about the Soviet neutral. But also the thing, the thing is too, is that Cheeks plays very much the same. That's why the ground game is super hard between these two. Missing that up air there, that would have been, that might have been the stock. I'm not sure. Uh, Soku up to 61% now, and Cheeks going to be trying to build his limit here before too long, looking for that kill. There's a limit check there just to see where he's at. He's at about 65%. Soku putting him to edge guard situation, missing the vanish and getting the dash attack, and now he's just going to try and take that jump and get Cheeks uh, into a situation where he has to blow his limit. Yeah, and right now he's at 148. This is. This is Max Rage Cloud versus 70 Sheik. Sheik is definitely the guy to kind of get memed on. End up using a jump right there, unless he gets limit. Plot working in his favor right there. My man is back on stage. Back air, not gonna kill, but Rage back air is a thing. And we're looking at possibly 80, oh, 88% is definitely killed the ledger thing. Woo! Definitely the kind of trades Kasoki wants to watch out for. That is nothing trading is gonna be in his favor here. Oh, and that whiff. You, you, you're throwing out bouncy fish in neutral. I'm not there, baby. Bow takes that first first game, and you know this could be leading to a whole wall of momentum that Cheeks needs. You know, I gotta say that the bouncing fish there, not a terrible option. He was at 100%. He had Cheeks up to like what was it, like 160, 170. Mm -hmm. So either it was going to connect, and then Kitsoku has a chance to bring it back, or it was just gonna be more just tacking on the percent to the point where he wouldn't be able. Yeah, and to be honest with you, like at the, he was still in his first stock too, so that was a little bit hard to deal with. Uh, right yeah. now, Pix is looking like he got the, the nice little rebound thus far.
Getting those uh, tilt strings there, coming out of Kasoku. He's gonna get the back air and gonna extend this combo in the air, putting Cheeks into a very unfavorable position. But that cloud up B is just too good to get back to stage. Oh, okay, does not give the air dodge there. Presses the button, smart man. Knowing that uh, up air was gonna be the best option to either trade or to get out of the situation. I like the neutral, both of these guys are playing, just reacting one to one another. That's why we see these two just go blow for blow. They're both just throwing out attacks, knowing that that's the only way they're going to be able to get around their opponent's defense. They just play so similarly in the neutral that it's they have to just keep throwing stuff out. There is no patience allowed in this matchup. Yeah, especially the way that both these guys are playing. When they troll, when they try to be patient, the other one bites one a move out of the other one, and the other one bites a move out of the other one. So it's just like nothing but perfect shows back to back. All right. Great wait for the Nair to come out right there. We wait for uh, Kasoka to be a little more... He's got to be careful with his bouncing fishes because, man, just one wrong move, especially if it gets limit, will definitely be a death. Air dodging, a whole bunch there. This is the uh, the grab after the up air drag down. He landed on the wrong side. Uh, Cheeks made made sure to land behind uh, Kosaku. Ooh, okay, not getting the punch thus far. These 50-50s uh, these not working out too well for Kosaku. Hasn't been able to get anything out of him. Man, these bouncy fishes, once again, they haven't been punished. These later ones haven't been punished, but I mean, he's got to look out. All right, there's the limit loan, and Nair is going to keep uh, Cheeks off stage, and that is going to be it. Kasoku almost getting caught, though, by the upbeat drag down. That would have been devastating for him at this point. Yeah, I think he thought that uh, Cheeks had touched the ground, and then uh, as soon as he realized that Cheeks was not jumping back, he just immediately got out of there. Uh, good awareness from Kisoku, especially the last minute there, but... Good reaction time. Yeah, good reaction, because that could have been his, uh, his cheeks. No that would have caught him. me. I'm gonna be honest, like, I would have been, <laughs> been gone. He would have just dragged me down the hell with him. No. Okay, alright. So, man, my man Cheeks has got good option coverage. We were selecting the jump right there and immediately got the Nair to cover the uh, roll. <laughs> That's my kill. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kasoku trying to do what Sheik does best on Sheikville, and that's camp the platform, but unfortunately, it's not going to work out for him this time. Uh, Cheeks is going to find the grab and take that first stock with the up throw. Sheik's now, though, having to try and find a way back on stage, and he is going to do that, but as soon as he loses that stage coverage, uh, Kasoku's just going to capitalize and put him in a situation where he has to blow his limit, and then that's 50% of Cheeks' option coverage just gone. Yeah, especially if, uh, how you get back to stage. Mm -hmm. All right, doing a smart, uh, doing smart already. Getting back to stage, kind of uh, forcing his way back on, which is pre uh, pressure, or not pressure, but uh, presence. I'm sorry. Oh, misses the tech up here, up here, 57%. If he does get up here, the finishing touch that is absolutely a thing that will kill Sheik. Uh, hell, and not kill Sheik unless the DI is ultra bad. Deep. I think he bouncing fish to get away from the blast zone there. Mm -hmm. Most like reuse course uh, side B's. Ooh! That will be enough. I didn't think uh, Kasoku had enough rage on the end of that. Well, it's not that he had enough rage, but also that move, uh, Sheiks are very smart in this end. They cross it up a little bit. So if you cross it up just a tad bit, it will absolutely miss, destroy people's DI. Really? Yeah. So her up here is really good at crossing up. So uh, that ended up crossing up Sheiks, and like he ended up losing that stock because of it. That definitely would have not killed him under regular uh, circumstances, but that was great play by Kasoku going to line that now. And we're seeing maybe a game 10 scenario. It's great. I forgot what it was like commentating for uh, Redline after a while. <laughs> now the memories are coming back to me. <laughs> game 10. Game 10. No, no, I don't want to see a game 10. Wait, I'm sorry. Game 15. Game 15. <laughs> yeah, well, it could potentially happen, but uh, you know what? Let's hope for uh, not even not that happening, of course. Uh, my man Kasoku just, just putting on this percentage. Fair at the fair. Fair at the fair. Hold all of this pressure. <gasps> oh, that's dirty. Oh, that footstool, that boy did it to him. Oh, that's dirty. That boy absolutely did it to him. And just took that stock. You know what? He's like, is he, hey. Is he going to do it again? No, he's not going to do it again. He's not going to do it again. I feel like Cheeks is a little more aware at this time. Oh, I don't know. Oh, he tried. He tried. He tried and almost actually died for it, surprisingly. Nah, he's fine. We live in. Yeah. Only at 20%, and he's overlapped uh, Cheeks already. See, I've always, it's always interesting because Cheeks is the one who picks Lila, and I know it's a good stage for uh, for Cloud, definitely, but I'm pretty sure Kasoku's positive on him. 
in this matchup. On the stage? Uh, on this stage, yeah. I'm not too sure about that, I, but I will say that I don't really like this uh, stage in this matchup in particular. Um, I mean, that being said, he has found success on the stage, but I don't know if we'll be seeing, seeing success today. Oh, has to use the LB because he ended up using that dare and wasn't able to grab the ledge. That's far. I mean, I, once again, overlap is percentage it looks like it's about to be a thing. He has to close out the stock, and that's going to close out the stock right there. Get, catches the uh, the down B back to stage. Right, but this is still Cloud at 80% and Sheik at zero. This is a perfect situation for Sheik to build up percent at her own pace. And by the time she's up around the 50, 60%, all her 50-50s will start killing. Yeah, and he ends up, a ends up having, having to use a, a B there, so no limit for you, boy. If you get wrong off stage again, you will absolutely die. The SDI for Kusoku is just very good to get out his cross slash because those do like 20% by the way. Yeah. Kusoku getting a good grab there into the forward throw and missing the bouncing fish, but he's fine. He's just going to roll his way back in, get the tilt to up air. Ooh, gets the, uh, the up air mix up once again. Not killing that time. Didn't have a uh, little ray to cover up uh, the DI mix up too. Wow, and my man just keeps holding shield because he's respecting him and Kusoku keeps grabbing him time and time again. Okay, not going for uh, the suicide all right there, but gets him back on stage. He gets the meaty. 162 versus 27. This is the part for Sheik where she has a tough time killing. He used his jump right there too, I think. No, he But did. he does get his limit. That's it. Yep. All right, and we're looking at 2-1 in uh, Kusoku's favor. He might be able to close out um, Redline, taking it 3-1 over Sheik. Who knows? We might be seeing a potential Game 5 situation, or we might be seeing a reset, uh, depending on how momentum switches in this last game. If we go to reset, can we just get a quick go? Uh, I don't care who wins, I just want to, you know. <laughs> I mean, Grant, this is an early red line. This is like, you know, potentially ending in like, you know, around the 10, 30-ish area. But yeah. still, I hate resets. <laughs> well, especially since I've been commentating for like, pretty much all night, actually. And I thank you for it. Yeah, not a problem. Oh, 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 this oh no. It. Oh, this is definitely going to be it. Gives the air dodge? No, does not get the air dodge? What a, what a patient man. I cannot uh, thank my man enough for not getting the air dodge, but I think he's just in a bad scenario. Oh, my God. Oh my Potential goodness. zero to death. What do you do? Oh, throws him back on stage, surprisingly. I think uh, he was trying to mix up the DI. Maybe mix up the DI just to get a bouncing fish. I'm not too sure, but my man's back on stage. He's back off stage. Zero to death. Mike, he has every option covered, it seems like. And my man, Chief is not being able to get a good rebound, and he's not being able to get a touch whatsoever. This yeah. is scary. All right, finally gets a jab. No zero to death here, boys. And don't forget, <laughs> Chief is the character to get memed on. She will absolutely die at, like, stupid percentages. I mean, if this was a Ryu instead of Cloud, Sheik's at kill percent in this situation. <laughs> okay, she's not at kill percent. Ryu does not kill at 18. <laughs> With the 120 rage he does. Uh, no, he does not kill the 18 with 120% rage. That's gonna be it. No, okay. The DI mix up was still there, but not able to kill poor cheeks. How do you guess? What do you do? Air dodge? Catches the fair and uses jump too, I think. Oh! Gets the attack! Surprising that move is actually really hard to tackle Cloud. Alright. 152 versus 39%. Uh, should kill. Oh no. No, forward throw's not gonna kill. I'm sorry, I forgot Sheik had a good, doesn't have a good forward throw. Yeah, forcible forward throw. Oh, he DI'd in on that, and immediately got hit with the fair, and Kusoku is at match point right now. If he wins this, this is gonna be it for, of course, uh, Redline. He's got a rebound pretty hard here. Forward air, forward air. Okay, Sheik's, Sheik's recovery on those platform setups that Kusoku is putting him in is just amazing. Okay, looking for, uh, does he get the, uh, meaty last shot that he was looking for? Keeps him in the corner. Catches the rollback. Soku doesn't need to approach at all. He can just play as patient as he wants and try to go for the timeout even if he wanted. He could try to go for a timeout or he can just wait for, uh, Cheeks to whiff a button and, uh, Cheeks is one of the better characters at punching characters for whiffing a button. He uh, took the limit! He ended up going for, I think, Cross Slash right there. Maybe not the best option, especially when you need it right now. Oh, Kasoku! Went for the style, he does have an extra game to mess around with, but that might cost him his life. You don't want to give a... Uh, if if Jason get an inch, you can make a mile out of it, but Kasoku is the one to close out that mile. Put, <laughs> he's the one to put on the safety jacket and say, you cannot go past here. If this leads to a reset now in Kasoku, 
like loses. I we mean, can, we will know what moment to look at. Yeah, we'll know what moment to look at here. Oh, yeah. not gonna kill. Gonna yes, it is. Will be it. And Cheeks loses Kosoku. Game four. Congratulations to Kosoku winning one of the last Smash 4 red lines here in DFW. And just a great job from uh, both men, but Kosoku.